Drawing, drawing, we do drawing. This is the drawing song. Will I edit this part out or let it be the intro? Who knows? <laughs> Got it. I'm so strange. <laughs> Wolverine. So Wolverine is like definitely one of my favorite characters in all the superhero universe. He's, he's definitely top five for me, I think. Him and Batman. Landscape page. Pencil. Eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. Try have fun. We're going to zoom in up to his head. I want This is from like the Fortnite skin of Wolverine. So I want it to fit in the claws. So that means his head's real small. I can do a portrait that's bigger someday. But we'll just we'll zoom in up here, right? And we're going to start with like his mask. Right? So in the center, we have these this yellow line that goes down his nose, right? So it goes diagonal this way and then that way, right? So like this kind of arrow pointing up and then his nose, the yellow line on his nose comes down here. So this is like the tip of his mask, right? So then this goes out to the sides Like that, okay? So we come back up here and we're just gonna add his eyes. So he's got this frowning, aggressive sort of tick line that goes that way. All right, same on this side, coming out from the top of that nose. Like that. And his eyes then are under here. So they kind of touch this frown. So they go out down into here and sort of back up right and they're just white there's no pupils inside we do the same thing over this side in back up to there right relatively simple we can have some eye lines and stuff and eyelid lines coming across the top you know like that and maybe some stuff on the side of his nose, you know, just some lines coming down the side for the mask. So then the top of his mask, right? So it comes out from the tip top of this yellow section here, this, this arrow sort of pointing up, right? The mask goes up like this. All right. And you kind of change direction here. So bends in a different way up to a spike, right? So it goes like that, right? So you have these two sort of bumping curves and then this goes up like that, okay? So then these will come down the side of his face and this will eventually all go all the way down to his chin, right? But we'll just do half of it first. So it curves down to like there. On this side right, like so now so the bit of the masks that come mask that comes across his cheek is here so it'll go up like this right so it kind of like goes in on his face and this will have a bit of an edge line see so the edge of his mask well just have this sort of edge that goes all the way up to the top just to show that it's kind of 3d and stuff so then this mask goes all the way down to his jaw and then across for his chin right so you'll have a couple of lines right so it'll go down like that down the other side. Now this is where his jawbone is. So then you change direction about here and go down and in. So it goes down and into there. Down and into there. And he's a real sort of strong jaw, strong chin. So like a big strong chin, strong jaw, real superhero style. Right, kind of like that. And then the side of his mask comes down the side of his face. And goes down into here. 
right like that. Same thing on this side, pretty much down in. This is his mask around the bottom of his chin, but it's so thin that it's just a black line. Right. So his mouth just in here. So he's kind of, we're going to kind of give him a, you know, he's kind of gritting his teeth. He's kind of not happy, right? Just like Wolverine always is. So it goes up and across down the back there, right? And we're just going to, you could leave it closed if you want, but we're just going to open it up a little bit. So we're just going to add a bit of a line for his bottom lip there. And then maybe a line for like teeth just inside, like a fang kind of thing, just there. You don't have to draw the whole teeth, just a little bit in the corner does the job. So then he's got these lines that come down his face, either side of the mask. We could give him a bottom lip line. shadow underneath here and maybe some chin actually draw in his chin and top lip okay so proportion wise right the eyes in characters like this are normally halfway down the head just if you're wondering so like chin to eyes it will bring it to the top of his head roughly up here, right? So, so like here to here is roughly the same as here to here. Maybe a little bit higher because he's got hair and stuff inside. But, you know, average, the eyes are halfway down from the skull, right? So if his skull is like in here, top of the head will be like hair and then his costume and stuff. So a little bit higher. So here to here, we'll bring it to about there. And then just a little bit above that, add the top of his head, and then we curve around. So then here we have some like extra frowning sort of lines coming out the middle of his head. And then he has these lines, these stitching lines that come down his mask. So it goes Boom. And then another one here. Sorry, I do sound effects when I'm drawing lines like this. Helps me concentrate. <laughs> Lots of anatomy then, muscles and stuff like that, right? So we're doing the yellow and blue costume so his his neck will kind of bump out this way right and this will go out that way on the other side so we're not symmetrical right his body is kind of turned so we can see more of this shoulder than this shoulder so it's a bit tricky it's not like straightforward but it's good to learn how to do these kind of, kind of things anyway so We'll do his torso first, right? So the anatomy first. So we go down, there. And then his chest muscle will come down across and up under here, right? So this is like the center line for his chest. So you got like these chest muscle lines there, which like come across, you know, you can add like that. And then the other side for his chest comes around here and then goes up this way. And then a join here. So then collarbone sort of goes that way. And then he'll have like a shoulder muscle there. It is his collarbone technically, right? It's just because he's so muscly the chest muscles cover his collarbone, right? So because he's such a sort of muscly guy, right? 
and you can have like chest muscles going this way as well if you want and then like a line for shoulder just there so he's got a neck of course he does <laughs> going that way and then another sort of neckline kind of rounder going there and then the neck in the middle like so like that and then he has like an extra sort of couple of trapezius muscle lines going that way so then the rest of his torso so we kind of bump right a few times we can see the abs on this side so we go down twice and then it like eventually becomes his belt which is like here and then on the other side so we got his bicep, but we'll do, we'll draw his torso. So you can kind of see ribs and things here. And kind of like that. And then the belt. Go around like this, right? So the belt here has, you know, the, x-men symbol so we go like sort of an oval circle sort of shape like that and it has a belt buckle so there's like an, an extra section just here and then the belt will have details lines on them sort of coming around like this Just these kind of texture lines like that so then abs right so just coming down from his chest so we got like another line that way and then some more sort of ab muscle lines going down here and like a couple of these abs going that way Right, kind of like that. Right, and then and yeah, maybe like some more going here, oblique muscles and stuff. Right, so then his legs will just come down and off my page, right? So his big thigh muscles just going that way. And his center line just there comes up and over that leg, and then the inside of his thigh, outside of his thigh, there. And then his legs will have some sort of like anatomy lines and things on them as well. So, right, so then, so I know there's the X in there, but we'll just get the main shapes sort of drawn in first. So he's got like shoulder pads on. Like that. And this has an edge line. And then another one over here. So, and then his arms, so he's got like a big bicep there, and his tricep kind of like shoulder, and then tricep down there, and then his forearm. And 
that when he's got like a big vein going down his bicep. There. Forearm. Like that. So his bicep kind of goes in underneath his like his chest sort of muscle here. And he seems to have like cuts taken out of his armor sort of here. So then he has another glove. So a glove coming around his forearm. Right here. And this will come to his fists, right? But I'll do the fists at the same time. We'll just go over and draw the other bicep and stuff here, right? So bent over sort of big bicep. Vein on that as well. Then his forearm glove, right? So it comes out there and just some little lines going back that way. So this arm is pulled further back. And then glove comes out to his arm. Like so. So before I do his hands, I'll just finish the details inside here, right? So we've more lines like that. And then a line separating the sort of yellow and blue section of his costume. Sort of coming down his abs and things this way. Right, and comes down here. Around like that. So, and then Another line going down this side. That way. And then goes down his abs as well. Down to there. And then he's got like a spike on his shoulder there, like a yellow spike, and another one here as well. And we'll do the X inside here. So we've got like another circle. X. Kind of like that, and maybe like an edge line or something coming around that. some details on the buckle on his leg this might have just some extra sort of stuff like so it's like a like a stitch line or something you know going down his body. Okay, so then his hands and his claws, right? So, a bit tricky drawing hands, but take your time, hit pause a lot. So the bottom of his hand is like this W kind of shape, okay? And this goes out this way. Right. And that's at the top of this W we have his thumb. So his thumb sort of comes around like this. And he's got a line kind of at the bottom of his glove there. And it's like some stitching or something on the glove. That way. And then we have knuckles and fingers and things. So, one, two, 
three, four all together. So then this one goes oh, eight down into there. Each of these then corresponds to a finger. So we go down, around, up to there, out, down, down to there, out, down, down to there. like a shadow inside that finger. And then maybe like a hand line or something here. Kind of like that and then we go over and we do similar over here kind of a bigger hand now so it kind of like bumps around like this and then so the thumb in this picture was over the fingers but the thumb in this one is underneath so it's out and down and you can see like the top of his knuckle here one three, four, and this goes down the side of the hand, and then four knuckles along the bottom here, and the little finger goes that way, and then each of these is a finger. And there's like a line on the edge of his glove there. Just adding some knuckle lines might help help things. He does have then like another few details on his glove. Some like pads on the inside, like this kind of stuff. Just extra details like this if you want. They're in the picture, so I'll draw them in for anyone who is a stickler for detail. Right, now the claws. So, very particular kind of shape, right? And they come out from these black sections, but we kind of have to draw the claws first. So, claw comes out, curves around to a spike here, right? And this comes down and back this way. And you might have like a center line just going up there. Okay, and then we do the same thing over this side. So it comes out, round, to a spike, down, back. And they kind of get skinnier as we go down. So it's kind of tricky now, like that, right? And then these have sort of edge lines and 
you know, ridge lines because there's like a blade on them. Right, kind of like this. And go out from here. This is like the biggest one on this hand. Comes up. Bring it around. Back down into there. And then we give it another sort of line like that. And a bit of an edge blade. Just got a section. My hand is a bit shaky to do this, but we go not bad and then so you'll add these sort of diamond sort of boxes that are on his knuckles these show where the blades come out and then we do the same sort of thing over here so We'll go, we'll start one here. Nice. Spike and down. Give it a sort of a, an edge. Make another. edge line to it like that right so those two lines kind of make it look make them look a little bit like kind of 3d sort of you know they, they've got this kind of ridge to them and then the next one just above to there Right, and give it like an edge, and then we go just again. Kind of like that. And then this one. So, and then edge line, and maybe an extra line there. And then we'll add those boxes that come out from his knuckles. Just these angled sort of boxes there. And that's it. I think that's everything. That is how to draw Wolverine. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.